Every time I pull this trailer, the fuse, the running lights blow. Today we're gonna fix that. Because these fuses keep blowing, that means that there's a short somewhere in the system. And the most likely spot is actually right here at the connectors. So before replacing my fuse again, knowing it's just going to get blown, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these connectors. Now to clean these, you can just use compressed air. Uh, you can just kind of brush them out if you want. It's also a good idea to clean up your ground connections throughout the trailer. Now we're going to install the new fuse. I'd like to just go ahead and confirm that I'm checking for continuity across the fuse. I'm just going to confirm that this one is bad and that the other one is good. No beep. That means this one is bad. This one should beep. It's good. I'm going to install it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on. Now, on my multimeter, I'm going to switch this over to VDC so that I can read 12 volt. On the seven pin connector, this top left pin right there is the one that supplies power to the running lights and the bottom left pin right there is the ground so i should see 12 volt right there right now here's a handy image that tells you how these plugs are wired so you can't see what my multimeter is reading but i'm going to touch right there and touch down here and I've got 12 volt. So it's supplying power right now and it has not blown the fuse. So that tells me that my short is somewhere in the trailer and not in the truck. A way I can confirm that there's a short in the trailer is to actually check for continuity just like I would on a fuse. That's a uh, this setting right here uh, if you can see it and so with continuity anytime that there's a continuous circuit it will beep there should not be a continuous circuit between the running lights which is right there and the ground but there is so that tells me that somewhere on this trailer, I am getting a short from the running light wire, which is the brown wire, to the trailer grounding it out. So what I'm going to do is visually inspect the wiring up and down this trailer. I'm just gonna kind of follow it and I'm gonna to look to see if I find any spots where it's damaged, any spots where uh, anything looks torn or broken. So what I'm looking for is anywhere that that brown wire might have rubbed through and be touching the frame, grounding it out, which would be a short. And so I'm checking the insulation everywhere there's a possible rub point. Don't know if you can see it very well on camera. I'm trying to get light in there. But right where the brown wire goes through that little holder it has frayed and the metal is touching the frame so that is the short that i've been looking for so i'm going to repair that so that the metal won't touch anymore and then it will be fixed went ahead and pulled this out to work on it but i thought you'd be able to see the actual spot better where it's been rubbing
just takes a few wraps just enough so that it won't rub through again so now to confirm that I found the right uh, spot where the trailer was being grounded to its running lights I will perform that same test checking for continuity across the running light to ground and I no longer have continuity there so that means I have found the problem turn the lights on and we should now have trailer lights there we go that looks a lot better All fixed. I hope this video helped you and if it did would you mind clicking that subscribe button to help my little family? This video may have been filmed in the neighborhood but we're in the process of turning 90 acres of off-grid land into our dream farm and we'd love to bring you along for the adventure. I appreciate you. Okay do you have to watch it when I do this? I mean come on it's weird enough talking to a camera. <laughs> Every time I pull this trailer, the I see you. I see you sneaking around. Please. Uh -huh.